the team hire an AI expert, vFriends partnership airdrop and results from the latest GFC tournament. My name is Axe Cap and these are the latest updates from Galaxy Fight Club in dev blog number 39. We start in game and web three development. So we have some new characters from the vFriends collection as well as this new skin. The team have added new options to allow gameplay with equalized stats across all characters. Players just need to pick uh, and choose the game mode within custom games. So normal game, you have the characters stats are unchanged and then you have the tournament game, this new game mode uh, where the character stats are all, of all players will be the same. There's a new map called the Jungle Map uh, available in both ranked matches and custom maps. Also added logic to randomize map in ranked matches. Players will now get a random map between sand, sci-fi and jungle. So that's pretty cool. We have now three maps uh, to play in 3v3 mode. Add a new logic to calculate MVP and save player data to play fab. Fix the logic of calculating the player's trophies at end game. Players will no longer be able to cheat. Well, that's awesome. Fix the mine placing skill on various weapons. Players can no longer move when placing mines. A lot of weapon balancing to damage and the cooldowns. Look at all these weapons here. Head here if you want to read any of those. It'll just take me too long to go through all of them. Updated features, the dashboard revamp. Phase two of the dashboard revamp is going well and we haven't had many bug reports since our beta went live two weeks ago. Therefore, we are planning to have this new version go to production, replacing the old dashboard uh, later this week. As mentioned in the last update, the new dashboard will have all of the current game mechanics integrated in just one place. And we hope by doing that, it becomes much easier for both new and old players to navigate to them. Battle Royale game mode update. Since the last update, we've been working on on the web three side of the battle royale game mode while we were at it there were some changes that we decided to make due to security issues they created a new collection of erc1155 ticket uh, nfts these ticket nfts can be purchased with gcoin instead of charging gcoin ticket nfts will be used when entering a match instead of winning prizes in gcoin winners will now get prizes in ticket nfts and these ticket nfts can then be burnt and used to redeem Gcoin. By having these changes, we have created isolation between Gcoin and the Battle Royale system. Ticket NFTs will become the median used in the BR, the Battle Royale game mode. This reduces the risk and the magnitude of effect even if the new game mode gets compromised or becomes exposed to exploits. And there are some further updates here uh, on some of the essential tasks for Battle Royale game mode for smart contracts servers um, and the front end so if you want more information there's a couple paragraphs here to come and read some other bugs and fixes the game server outage incident on the 8th of december the status is patched and live and here's a bit more information on that so we received reports on players not being able to log into the game error messages such as account not found and incorrect password were displayed when players tried to log in after investigating we found out that the issue was caused by playfab which is the game server provider updating data format on the a unique session ticket which gets generated after login we have been encrypting that token and passing it to our own server to use for authentication providing that the information passed by the client uh, the game client is genuine however with the updated format it broke the encryption algorithm and calls for the game client were unable to be received by our server causing the service to be unavailable to all the players since then we have pushed out a patch on the encryption logic to accommodate the new data format as well as adding in some fail safe logic to to allow for unaffected gameplay, even if a similar event happens again in the future. The server unavailability lasts around six hours and the team apologized for any inconvenience caused. So scrolling back to the summary, there's also another update. I want to mention that the team have hired an AI expert for the short term to help us improve the AI bots. We'll also be looking to develop their ability to strategize more effectively, such as being able to play more conservatively while winning and knowing when to run away ETC. On to the second section, of the dev blog and that is business development and marketing. In the past two weeks, there have been a ton of very exciting updates on the marketing and business development side. In continuation to our previous update, we have now concluded and received all recap material from YGG SEA in regards to our in-person event in Malaysia. Visitors loved the GFC booth and were very impressed with our setup and execution and more importantly, our game. As you can see in the images, we hired two mascots for this event, the official GFC mascot, the Spartan, as well as a female fighter. You can expect a video recap of the event to be shared on uh, the GFC YouTube and Twitter in the next couple of days. Another partnership activation we have conducted recently was the airdrop together with vFriends. We airdropped a total supply of 55 Mythic Mint 
Minx and 255 Uncommon Mint Minx to holders of VFriends and VFriends Series 2 respectively. You can find the full details of the airdrop in the following Twitter thread here in the article. Now the team have reserved a few of each of the NFTs as a contribution to the prize pool of our Galaxy Fight Club Cross IP Championship. Furthermore, we are working on another airdrop together with uh, Vayner Sports Pass. This airdrop will be executed in a similar manner. However, it is going to be a weapon instead of a character. Stay tuned for more details on the Vayner Sports airdrop another great partnership activation was our most recent twitter space nfts united we were joined by over 20 speakers including cyber kongs llamaverse champ saint from something is happening slash lost realms johnny from hustlepedia co-host of crypto banter and many many more we had a live audience of over 500 listeners and a total listener count of over 2000 we had some great conversations and provided a lot of valuable information to the listeners make sure to check out the replay in case you didn't attend and last but certainly not not least for this section of business development and marketing. Quick update on our official Galaxy Fight Club Cross IP Championship. We have now concluded all of the qualifying tournaments for the participating partner projects and are looking to announce the final dates and times of the championship this coming week. Leading up to the championship, we will need our entire community to help us spread the word, especially on Twitter. We will be reactivating all of our partners with exclusive graphics tailored towards their characters and organize more fun events. For example, Twitter spaces to continue building up engagement and excitement for the final championship. Here's a preview of one of the upcoming artworks for the partner activations. Almost all of the participating partners have been giving us positive feedback across the board, which is very encouraging and exciting for us. People are really enjoying this series of events leading up to the big championship and can't wait to finally face other projects in the Coliseum. Onto the final segment of the dev blog, and that is part C, community. Another action-packed two-week tournament with some familiar names from the Comfy Guild taking down the title and it looks like they beat uh, Team Berserk from the way of Zen. The quality of play was top-notch as there were more weapons and character combinations adjusting to the new rules. The walking stick, FAL and Brown Asteroid emerged as a popular meta with a death machine plus Brown Asteroid anchoring the championship team, but we had a heel sitting from the Monstars and quite a few retributions make an appearance. D-Gen, Monstar, Zen, 2CG and newcomers Monkeys rounded out the top eight prize money recipients. We expanded the prize pool even further, including a small bracket for the first time to give new teams a chance to win. Congrats to the G3 team for taking down the first small bracket prize pool. Make sure to keep an eye on the tournament points document as there were some point updates, including the walking stick and its pesky stun poke going to two points. We will continue to tweak systems to encourage strategy and teamwork. There will not be a two e tournament held this weekend as we begin the group stage for the Cross IP Championship. If you earned a spot in the Cross IP Championship, Championship with GFC or with a partner, please stay tuned for additional info. The event will be World Cup style with a group stage and knockout stage. Groups to be released over the next few days with matches starting December 18. Moving to a group stage will give all entrants a chance to play multiple teams to test their skills and provide a more spread out streaming experience so we can showcase as many entrants, partners and GFC winners as possible. Tournament entrants will be broken into groups of four and play each team in their group, World Cup style, with the top two teams from each advancing to a double elimination knockout stage. Final event day has been moved to Sunday, January 1 with the update format to accommodate all the entrants. Partners have been loving the GFC gameplay and competitive experience of the qualifier events. Most of them want to continue with the regular tournaments and events and get more involved in what we are doing. We will continue to build out the partner infrastructure, hold events with the communities who leaned into the GFC way of life and nurture their experience. Let's finish with some humor here, the GFC meme contest. Well, you were all smart and hilarious with submissions and more than deserve the prizes earned. Congrats to King Pepe, Mackie and Rhett landing the top three spots. There were so many amazing entrants, so we decided to widen the prize pool to give away more gold and silver keys for strong entries. If you did not win this time, don't worry. We have trained four more Gen 2 with some stud breeders. Please talk to Guru about ideas for community events that you would enjoy. For example, art contest, best highlights video etc and we have not forgotten about the gfc world cup event stay tuned it will be worth it so here's a look at some of the memes here are some great submissions well done to everyone who participated so that is it from devblog 39 as always heaps going on in just two short weeks i look forward to the next two weeks um see you in the next video 